it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another back to school video for you guys as promised in my back to school series and today I'm going to be doing a back to school a back to school school supplies haul for you guys and this video got requested and was selected on Instagram when I asked you guys which one you would like to see first and this video has kind of a twist to it because it's the reality of back to school supplies hauls. So I know when you go on YouTube like you see a bunch of YouTubers and they just have like a bunch of load of school supplies and just like so many things. And I was watching and I was like, well hmm, they're all in high school. I've been in high school for two years. I'm going to be a junior this year. And I'm like, you definitely don't need everything that they got. So I'm going to show you guys basically the reality in my opinion what I think you actually need for high school and what I got for high school. If you're in high school you probably could relate to this. You actually do not need as much stuff as they put on the school supply list and everything. Everyone says you need it. Everything I got is basically everything I survived the past two years of high school with. So I'm just going to show you guys everything I got. So the first thing I got is my backpack and it is just this plain backpack and it's Betsy Johnson of course. I love my Betsy and I love my girl Betsy Johnson. And it's just plain black, just because I kind of wanted to go with the black thing this year. And it just has like gold enhancements in it. And this is Betsy Johnson up here, and then it has like a little pocket down here. But I have nothing in it, and then it just has this big bow. So let's get into what is in it. So, a backpack I feel like is key to high school because I carry my backpack everywhere. I literally carry everything in it. I carry my school stuff, my food of course, and I carry my makeup bag in them, but I don't have that in there right now. So the first thing I have in my school supplies haul is just a pencil bag and or a pen bag. I prefer to use pens in high school. I was so excited to get to high school when I was told I'm allowed to write with pens. So I only write with pens and I got me a huge bag this year compared to what I had last year because it broke. So I just got me a nice one and this is a Calvin Klein one. I found it at the Calvin Klein store and I was like, oh, this would be a nice little pen pencil bag. And it's gray and it's super cute. And then the cool thing is how it opens is it pops up like this. You guys can see. And then it pops up on like this. And I have a tons of pens in there. I mean tons. I counted and I have over 110. So they're just like layers of pens as you guys can see. And in high school, if you're not in high school yet, you go through so many pens and pencils. I lost so many last year. And it was just ridiculously crazy. I have so many pens. Like it's unbelievable in here. Look, look. I just, I pull out this whole thing and there's still a bunch in there. I just have a lot of writing utensils. So make sure you have a lot of writing utensils. As you guys can see, that's what I got. And I just got me lots of writing utensils. Um, in high school, I feel like you can't just go with one. I feel like being like having writing utensils stocked up is like key. I feel like that's the most important thing. As long as you have that, and if someone asks for them, you know, you'll still have a lot of them. So I feel like you should stock up too. So I just got this pencil bag and a bunch of pens. All these pens I found like at Dollar Tree or all that. They're not expensive at all. So I just got me lots of pens and a pencil bag. And I could also find, I find lots of pens throughout the school year that people leave. So I always end up, and, and they always end up in my collection. So the first thing I got is just this pencil bag and a bunch of pens in there. The next thing I got in this haul is a binder. So this year I decided to go with a different approach and I got a binder like kind of for all my stuff. So mine's is just a black one. Like I said, I'm going with it for this black like sort of theme this year and it's just by five star. It's big, it's a pretty big binder but it's a good size. It's not too big. And then the inside, I, the first thing, the next thing that I have in here is just a plain black journal. And I usually have two journals and I kind of separate up my classes inside of the journals. So I just have this one plain black journal. It's super basic. I think it's cute just because it goes with the theme I'm going for. Um, I don't know what brand it is. It's Ultimate. I purchased all my school supplies at, well, like my binder and my journals, like all the utensil stuff, like at Target. And my pens, I found some of them. I just found them in a variety of places, obviously. And besides the pencil bag, everything else is from Target. But in the inside, it's super nice. It's like this, like, like sheer thing. I think it's just like that. Nah. And then on the inside, it just is this, like, whiteboard material. And it says class schedule, and you write your schedule there. And I never usually do that because I always memorize my schedule by second day. And then in this journal, it's super nice. It has dividers in it, and it's just a big journal. 
and has a divider right here that I will be able to like split my classes and everything. And I could usually fit like up to like two classes in a journal. Most of my classes, like lots of my classes don't require journals, like basically like English and math, all those classes and science, but I, yeah. So I just have one journal that was in the binder. The next thing that is in the binder, let me show you guys. It's kind of big. I just have another journal. I already have it clipped in. I didn't come with the binder, but it's just clipped in as you guys can see. And it's a small, it's like a good sized journal, which I could also fit um, two classes in, I could say. But let me show you guys. It's like, so it's just like this size right here. If you guys can see, and it's just another journal. So I only have two journals this year so far, depending on what I'll need. And then the next thing I have are these nice dividers that came with the binder. Um, right here, it just says math. It has math class, science, language arts, and social studies. And they're just dividers. I feel like dividers are very important. They really do help you stay organized. So if you can find you like some simple dividers, these ones are just a bit fancy because it came with the binder. You don't need to get you that fancy ones. And then in the back of this, I have more dividers. Let me show you guys what these look like. So, I just bought this pack of dividers, and it's still not plastic. I'm gonna leave it in there until I get out. But they're just, uh, there's one, there's five dividers, I think. I, I was gonna count them. But there's five dividers, and then it comes with labels. So I've got me some dividers this year because they are so helpful when I'm able to divide my classes. It's easier for me to flip through to them rather than losing stuff. And I'm definitely trying to be more organized this junior year, so yeah. The next thing I have, I got are folders. So I got them three folders in the colors. I'm sure you guys. So I got three folders in the color black, of course, because black goes with the thing. And I got this light green lime color. It looks more yellowish on the screen, but it's really lime green. And then I got me a blue one, and they're just three folders kind of organized keep more organized like I said so I just got three folders because I don't think I really need more than three I usually only use like two at the most so blue the three the, the three folders are just kind of like an extra thing and then the last thing I got is I got me lined paper I just got a bunch of this because we always need like extra loose leaf paper like the teachers always tell you to pull it out and they're good to have so I just have two packs of these uh, the other one's already in my binder but it's kind of hard to show you guys so I just got me a loose leaf paper so this is literally everything in my back to school supply haul I had got a backpack loose leaf paper a binder with, with two journals in it and three folders and a pencil slash pen bag with a bunch of pens. And that's basically everything I got. That's usually everything I always need every single year I had in high school. I never needed anything more. And I feel like this is literally the reality of a back to school haul. I want to show you guys something more reality rather than the other school supply hauls that you guys have been seeing around YouTube where they just have a ridiculous amount of stuff. Not that that's not great, I'm not trying to bash on that, but you, in reality, you really don't need all that for high school. Maybe when I was a freshman, I did get all that, but after going to like the first week of freshman, the freshman year, I was like, okay, I don't need all this, and then the continuous years, I didn't need all of it. So this is everything that was in my back to school supply haul. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 500 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!